Well, whether we like it or not, it's coming. I'm talking about snow. Now, temperatures aren't that cold through the city of Toronto today, but it is certainly cooler than it has been. Say goodbye to the double-digit temperatures and hello to the singles. Today, we're hitting the high single digits, and that trend is going to continue for the rest of the week. I'll talk about that coming up in your long-range forecast in just a few moments. But while we're on the topic of snow, our producer, BJ, asked, who's ready for it? A lot of people. Josh seems to be, I'm ready for snow. Amy said, definitely not. Uh, a lot of people, I think, are, well, she said it's about a 60-40 ratio. So 40% of people say, yes, bring it on. I'm ready to ski. I'm ready to snowboard. And 60% of people say, not a chance. All right, speaking of snow, let's take a look at this video. This is further north. This is in northern Ontario. This is in through Dryden, and you can see... Ah, yeah, it's falling down. It looks pretty though, doesn't it, for snowfall? <laughs> this little guy's having a good time on his bike. Wait a minute, it's winter. <laughs> You're not supposed to ride your bike in winter. He's getting one last ride in before it's over for another six months. At least that's what it seems like through northern Ontario. All right, another big story that we're talking about here at the Weather Network is what's happening in the Pacific and in the Atlantic in terms of hurricanes. Well, storm names that have been used uh, were all the way up towards Lorenzo through the Atlantic. And in the Pacific, well, we've seen quite a few more storms. Now, we'll talk about Raymond and we'll also talk about Lorenzo coming up. But as of right now, Sonia is next in the Pacific, but we're dealing with Raymond right now and it's really affecting the coast of Mexico. Speaking of hurricanes, today is the anniversary of the day that Sandy started. You all remember uh, Hurricane Sandy that hits New York? Well, our second costliest hurricane through the U.S. Six million people were out of power and it flooded the New York subway. All right, I am going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds right now. And Tom, did you see the water gushing into the subway while you were in New York? A red alert is on in China as thick smog shrouds the northeast. In some places, it's to eastern Australia, where Tuesday brought a slight drop in temperature. And we'll continue with both of those stories right here at the Weather Network. But first, we're going to be joining Kevin Yard. He is in Port Credit on a very cool start to the day. It's happened, Tom. It has. It has happened. My, my, daughter, my daughter just uh, texted me from uh, Huntsville. She says flurries in Huntsville. Flurries. Ew. Yeah. So, I mean, Muskoka Airport's three degrees, but she's yeah. up a little bit elevated there, so you lose a, a couple of degrees and you mm -hmm. get mixed precipitation. So, yeah. yeah, it's a little bit of flurry activity. Anywhere from North Bay through Hudsville, Aurelia, down towards Perry Sound, and even down towards KW <laughs> tonight, we could see a little bit of mixed precipitation because of lake effect and those northwesterly winds. Not doing us any favors right no, now. No, but we love snow around here. We love snow. And we love no, it. No business like snow business. I can't wait to go tobogganing and skiing That's and snowshoeing. Right. We're going to get right into um, yeah, all of that. Yeah. Ice fishing totally. with no hot. Totally. Totally. <laughs> Let's join Kevin. Yeah. He is in Mississauga this morning. And Kevin, you mentioned something earlier, and I need to correct you. You said that I would love to have your job because it's easy. No, that's not what I said. I said I would love to sometimes have your job because of all the amazing things you get to do. Food. Standing out in the cold is not one of those amazing things. Ah. <laughs> You're right, Kevin, because if it was me, I would be out there in a parka. I'm not kidding, I probably would be out there in a parka. Nine degrees today, feeling like zero. No wonder we're seeing some flurries further north. We'll talk about our forecast getting us into the weekend. Will it warm up? I've got the answer coming up, but first, Tom, what's going on with all those delays? Well, not bad. We are going to be seeing a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day tomorrow, but temperatures remaining chilly. Now, Wednesday overnight into Thursday, because of the northwesterly winds, we could be dealing with not only lake effect showers to areas further north, but lake effect flurries. So through Barrie, even a line stretching all the way down towards London, we could see some mixed precipitation. Temperatures will be that cold. A red alert is on in China as thick smog shrouds the northeast in some places. To Eastern Australia, where Tuesday brought a slight drop in temperatures. To the west in the Blue Mountains, firefighters have actually merged two out of the three larger fires. The move is expected to make fire behavior more predictable. So far, fires have consumed more than 116,000 hectares in New South Wales. That's what's happening right now. We'll take a look at your forecast, including the weekend, coming up. But first, here's Tom Reynolds with traffic. 
Hi there. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It's October the 22nd, and it does not feel like October. It feels like November. We're actually seeing some snow areas further <laughs> north of Aurelia, yeah. past Bala, and up into towards Huntsville. My daughter just sent me a picture, which we're going to post, of her car with a little bit of snow on it up in Huntsville. So, We yeah. are embracing winter. We Mom. love winter. We are. Love it. Emily and I are going uh, ice fishing without a hut. Yep. That's how much we love winter. But we're going to bring a cooler. A cooler, that's yes. right. No heaters or anything like that. No, we're going to bring it cooler. That's right. <laughs> Kevin is joining us in Mississauga this morning. Kevin, you were down at the Port Credit Rowing Club. A lot of people still busy getting in shape, even though it is very <laughs> chilly outside. Is it because you're much warmer or is it because you weren't thinking ahead, Kevin? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. All right, nine degrees, a mix of sun and cloud today, uh, about half of what we were feeling yesterday. Yeah. Six through the evening, four through the overnight. It's going to feel like one, and then it's actually going to feel like zero upon wake up tomorrow morning. It's coming. <laughs> Are temperatures going to be warming up by the weekend? Well, I will let you know the answer coming up in just a few moments. But first, Tom, do we still have those major delays on the 401 and the QE? We're talking about some snow, not real snow, <laughs> just that mixed precipitation kind of snow. Wet snow is possible tonight and tomorrow night because of those northwesterly winds. Temperatures are going to be very cool. They are coming off the lakes areas around uh, Perry Sound through Newmarket all the way down towards London. So Kitchener Waterloo, you're included. You could see some mixed precipitation tonight as well as tomorrow overnight and into Thursday. A red alert is on in China as thick smog shrouds the northeast. In some places, it's impossible to see ahead more than 50 meters. To eastern Australia, where Tuesday brought a slight drop in temperature. There's a New South Wales. All right, we're going to join Kevin Yard. He is live in Port Credit this morning. The sun is shining, Kevin, but the temperatures are cool. A red alert is on in China as thick smog shrouds the northeast. In some places, it's impossible to see ahead more than 50 meters. To eastern Australia, where Tuesday brought a slight drop in temperatures and light rain in South Wales. We'll continue to follow both of those stories for you right here at the Weather Network. Now we're going to join Kevin Yard. He joins us in beautiful Port Credit this morning. The leaves starting to fall off the trees and a very cool start to the day. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It's the 22nd of October. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds, and hopefully your day is starting off well. It's a little bit on the chilly side out there. We had a little rain shower early on. It's sort of gone. My daughter's been sending me pictures of snow falling in Huntsville. Her Yuck. back deck has got a little bit of snow. Her car's got a little bit of snow. So uh, it's a little close. It is a little closer. It comfort, is, isn't really. It? Well, at least we're seeing sunshine through much of the GTA this morning. And Kevin joins us in Mississauga. He's been making friends all morning long. And Kevin, I think jackets and layering are something that uh, a lot of people are into today. <laughs> oh, How cute are they? So cute. And this little Blue Jay hat. Mm, adorable. All right. Well, today it is going to be cooler than it was yesterday. Yesterday we hit 16. Today we're hitting nine. Big difference on wake up tomorrow morning. So certainly uh, a cooler situation for the next couple of days. Is it going to warm up? I'll have all those details coming up in a moment. But first, Tom, what's going on with those delays? Well, as you... Northwesterly winds stirring up a little bit of lake effect could bring a little bit of mixed precipitation through uh, Perry Sound, down towards Newmarket, in through parts of Kitchener-Waterloo, through the overnight tonight, and then again tomorrow night. Now, temperatures staying quite cool through the, well, the rest of the week, and then by the weekend, we actually bump up to closer to seasonal values. Seasonal for this time of year is about 12 degrees. So below for tomorrow, only 8, and then 7 for Thursday, 8 for Friday in Oshawa up through Barrie there's that good chance of some mixing not only tonight but again tomorrow night and into Thursday overnight temperatures going down to two degrees Hi there, good morning. It's Tuesday. It's the 22nd of October. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. Cool start to the day. A lot of people have been tweeting and Facebooking about the chilly conditions and how they're bundling up this morning. A big difference from yesterday. Now, yesterday we saw daytime highs above seasonal. Oh. 
I know, I let that sink in for a minute. It's going to be chilly, that's for sure. Okay, this is what's happening this morning. We have this trough that is now lingering up towards uh, Huntsville. We are starting to see a little bit of mixed precipitation. That has the potential to move down towards Perry Sound um, and through Muskoka. We are going to be seeing the risk through Kitchener-Waterloo and down towards London through the overnight tonight, just as that lake effect picks up a little bit. If you do see flurries, we would love to see pictures of, you know, what's happening at Emily TWN. So throughout the day tomorrow, we do have that risk for a few isolated showers along the lakes, but for the most part, it's going to stay dry through the GTA. Wednesday overnight and into Thursday, you can already start to see the lake effect setting up again. We could see some mixing as far north as, uh, or as far south as Barrie. We could see some through there. Uh, through Wednesday, the rainfall forecast, it's not significant. Temperature staying cool all week. A red alert is on in China as thick smog shrouds the northeast. And to eastern Australia, where Tuesday brought a slight drop in temperatures and light 116,000 hectares in New South Wales. And we'll continue to follow both of those stories right here at the Weather Network. Right now, we're going to join Kevin Yard. He is live in beautiful Port Credit this morning. Sunny, but very cool. Kevin? Thanks, Kevin. My little Brooklyn's the same. As soon as she sees me holding her jacket, she goes, no, and runs away. <laughs> she learned how to say no. I don't know. I'm blaming her daddy for teaching her that one. Okay, seven for tomorrow. Could see some lake effect snow stretching as far south as Kitchener-Waterloo overnight and into Thursday. Temperatures remaining cool all week, but returning to more seasonal values by the weekend. This weather set. is in short supply as wildfires scorch the landscape of Australia. Coming up, we'll tell you how much land has been ravaged so far.